What's up, YouTube? This is Damon, a.k.a. The World's Worst Magician, and today I'll be bringing you a look at the brand new Artistic Spring Playing Cards uh, by Nikolai from Design Imperator uh, out of Denmark. So, uh, if you're not familiar with these playing cards, uh, they were a Kickstarter um, project or campaign. So, uh, if they've released these for public purchase, I will go ahead and leave a link in the description to that. Otherwise, I'll leave you with a link to the Kickstarter campaign. So what you got was just a thank you card uh, with it from Nikolai himself and then the artistic spring playing card. So let's take a look at this tuck. Um, now the tuck is embossed, so uh, there's a lot of raising. Um, in the note, it did say the box was a little delicate and, you know, mine arrived with this big crease in it. Uh, so definitely take care with the boxes. Uh, I didn't do this. It showed up like this, even though it was in good packaging. So uh, definitely be careful with these. And as you can see, it's designed in Denmark uh, on the sides here. Just 54 playing cards um, designed in Denmark. And then the back, this is what actually drew me uh, to these cards is uh, I am super old. <laughs> and this reminded me of Qbert. So uh, if you don't know what Qbert is, uh, I kind of hate your face because you're too young. <laughs> um, but yeah, Google Qbert if you don't know who that is. And um, yeah, so this is also embossed as well. So it just gives a cool kind of 3D look. And this is the actual back of the cards. And um, I thought these would be really good for uh, cardistry and also, you know, for doing card tricks because uh, they kind of stand out. So um, there's nothing on the inside of the tuck except the cards. So um, yeah, let's get into it. All right, and um, since the box is a little delicate, uh, I didn't want to try to get it on my phantom display and kind of ruin that. So let's step through it. Uh, the cards, the pips, everything is completely custom. And uh, you'll see that it did start with the two of clubs and then the aces at the end. So again, this was a Kickstarter campaign. And um, I was really drawn to the back design and then kind of their modern take on the court cards. So thought that was pretty cool and then there as you see the aces at the end and yeah, let me make sure these are the right way up get back through it and um yeah i'm not sure normally these cards are re uh, released by design imperator and then uh this time they were actually just released under nikolai's name uh so i'm not sure what's happening there but uh, I'll still leave a link in the description to where you can find it and i keep saying nikolai and i'm not saying his last name because uh, it has a zero in it, and I do not want to butcher it. I will leave his name spelled out uh, in the description, but I will not try to pronounce it and murder it. And um, these cards, uh, I don't know if you can see that gloss on them. They have kind of a, uh, not a plastic feel. It's kind of hard to describe it, but uh, when the cards arrived, they were actually sticking together. Um... So that was a point of concern of mine because since I actually had to like push them to get them to come apart. Um, here you see the jokers. Sorry, I'll flip this one upside down. So they're kind of the inverse of each other. Um, no reveals or anything there, but they are nice looking jokers. And um, in having to push the cards apart, my concern was going to be uh, the fanning. And as you can see, uh, they do not fan well. If I apply uh, a ton of pressure, I can kind of get a fan, but um, still you can see how clumpy that is. And then something weird, I probably won't do it because I'm trying to do it on camera, but uh, well, there you go. The reverse fan kind of works a little bit better, but it's it's still not good. And for you know the back design here, let me show you that. Focus. Uh, so you can see it, it, it's like a cool, you know, 3D looking pattern. Uh, it is a two-way back. So if I turn one upside down, you'll see that it's still exactly the same. But I thought these would be a really good look for cardistry. And then I was thinking that it would make a really great fan. But uh, as you can see, there's just, it's it's not even, it's a little bit clumpy. I'm thinking maybe if I hit it with some, um, some fanning powder that um, maybe that'll get it better. But... Everything else, as far as uh, springs and just the movement of the cards, uh, is good. The only issue there is the inability to fan. Now, I will say that the more that I kind of work in these cards, 
the better they're starting to feel as far as uh, getting some movement. Because the first fan I ever tried to do, like, I think I seriously got maybe one. It was it was weird. It was like one card spread off. Um, so I've been kind of playing around with them, working them, doing some card springs, that sort of thing. And um, they seem to be getting better. So hopefully that's all it takes is maybe there's just an adjustment period. Or like I said, I may just have to hit them with some fanning powder. But you can see that back is really nice and for you guys out there that do cardistry i think these would be great and i also think if you're doing uh card effects that because of the almost illusion that it creates um that this would be good for magic and card tricks and then uh the faces are black and red so again i think that's kind of good for doing any sort of card tricks but yeah i think that's pretty much everything i have to say about these i'll leave uh, a link or links to where you can pick these up and again, these are the Artistic Spring Playing Cards by Nikolai from Design Imperator. All right, see ya. Well, I hope you liked that review. And if you have any questions, magic tricks, or decks that you want to see reviewed, go ahead and leave a comment down below, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. As always, I would greatly appreciate it if you would click that like button and subscribe for any future reviews. All right.